Some of the push to reopen cruising and fill this channel again with packed cruise ships is getting stronger right now because the industry is about to lose its summer season, the most important part of the year, for the second year in a row. It's time to start making noise. I, I appreciate our governor and attorney general today. It's, it's time to do something. Port and cruise executives in the state are cheering the announcement made by Governor DeSantis today. That on behalf of the tens of thousands of Floridians whose livelihood depends on the viability of an open cruise industry, today Florida's fighting back. State officials and cruise executives have turned up the rhetoric, saying now the year-long cruise industry lockdown is unfair and illegal. Port Canaveral managers say the lockdown has cost 11,000 jobs in Florida, along with $400 million in wages and $31 million in state and local tax revenue. I had to pack up my home in Miami, lease it out, and come live with family in Central Florida. The state is filing suit against the federal government and the CDC saying things have changed. Vaccines, testing, treatment and procedures are all available to make cruising safe. If people can fly on planes and go to theme parks, the governor says, they should be able to cruise. We don't believe the federal government has the right to mothball a major industry for over a year uh, based on very little evidence and very little data. Well, the CDC says there is evidence and data that cruising is not safe, and the CDC has not put a timetable on when it might end the lockdown. The state is uh, asking a federal judge to end the lockdown immediately. We're live at Port Canaveral. Dan Billow, WESH 2 News.